What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek. And today we're talking about Power Automate and the Office 365 Outlook Connector. And we're going to look at the action which is respond to an event. So this action allows you to programmatically respond to an event through a flow. So you could have a set of rules in here so that when an event is in your calendar at a certain time or a certain you know person sort of thing, you can respond to it and then change it and then sort of give an automated response to it. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger flow just to trigger the flow off. And then I've got a, a action here that we've created in a previous video, which is get calendar view of events. Now I've already pre-populated with this with a bit of information, but just to show you what's going on, I'm selecting the calendar that I'm looking at. I'm selecting the start time as being UTC now, uh, and I'm also adding the number of days onto it uh, as three. And that way we start capturing any events that are happening between now and in the next three days. So that's going to pull back a list of all my events. So if I click on new step, if I expand this and then go to Office 365 Outlook, I can scroll down until I get to respond to an event. Uh, respond to an event, V2, that's the one I want. So this is asking me for two required parameters at the moment, the event ID and the response. So the event ID, I'm going to choose the ID from the calendar in that direct content. Now, as soon as I do this, it's going to say, hey, that value could be multiple values. It could be an array. So it's going to put that apply to each around it because it knows we may be responding to multiple records. Uh, I'm just doing this as a way to show you getting a, a, an event and, and responding to it. So we don't want to do that, uh, and it's going to pull back multiple records. You can maybe do this with a different trigger that would only pull back a single record, um, uh, or, or maybe you have details and you can you know, use one of the get events um, and pull back a single record. I'm just using this for a bit of ease at the moment. So we've got the event ID. We're taking it from that piece of direct content there. The next thing we do is have to actually specify a response. So we have to say, hey, uh, are we going to accept? Tentatively accept or decline. So all these things should be familiar with you if you are using Outlook at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept. I can also put a comment in here and say, uh, hi, uh, I'd love to come. We also have a, a send response boolean down here. So this is basically saying, do you want to send this response back to the user or do you not want, to, do you not want them to see, it, see your response going back? and you just decline it or accept it uh, and not send that email to say, yes, I've accepted this, um, I've accepted this invite. So that's what that button does. Um, so let's test this out. So before I hit test, I'm going to show you, I'll switch over to my Outlook calendar. I have an email in here from one of my other accounts. Um, so we've got this, it's asking me to RSVP. I can switch over to my calendar. And we can see there's a calendar event in here for tonight at eight o'clock called the flow test event. Um, it's got the little checkered line at the moment, and which, which means that I have not accepted it. Uh, it's just come into my inbox. So what we will do is we'll go back to flow. We will click on test. I'll perform the trigger action. I'll save and test. And we'll hit run flow. Click done and see the flow run successfully. So we can click here, we can expand this, and we can see, yeah, we've done this. So that's the output. If we go back to the calendar, we can now see this has a dark blue solid line, meaning that I've accepted it. So we can open this event up. We can see you accepted, so that's good. Uh, and then we, um, so yeah, so, so we've accepted this event. What we can also do is we can go back to the inbox um, and we can go to sent items uh, and we can see that we've also sent this message. So um, we can see you accepted that calendar invite. Uh, Hi, you this event is like, Hi, I'd love to come. And that's the message that we've sent back to that user. So this allows us to, to do those things and to, to notify people. And conversely, if we change this to say, uh, you know, decline, um, can't make it on holiday. Uh, and maybe we maybe we don't send that response to the person either. Uh, we can just hit test and see what this does. So we'll, I'll perform the trigger action. We'll save and test, and we'll click run the flow. Click done. Oh, it failed. 
Uh, oh yeah, the comment must. Uh, the response must be true when the comment is not. Okay, so we'll take that out. That's all that was saying. So we can't send a response. That's interesting. That it does that. We'll run the flow. Click done. Flow is running, and hopefully we get green tick. Yay, we get green tick. So this time we've declined that event. So if I go back to my Outlook and if I go back to our calendar, we can now see that, that event is out of the calendar. So we've declined the event and it's no longer in the calendar and that's absolutely fine. We can go back to our emails and we can go to our sent items and we'll see that there is actually no other, um, th there's no other rejection. There's no message to the person to say not coming. It's just a straight rejection. They'll see it in whichever app that they use. If they go into the uh, Outlook tracker or if they're in Gmail or something like that, they'll see that the person has declined. They've just not sent the, um, the the message back to them. So there we have it. That is a way to respond to an event programmatically, which I think is really cool. So I think I said in one of the last few videos that there's some new options in Exchange Online at the moment where you can automatically decline things when you're at the office. But if you don't have that option yet, you could totally use something like this to just automatically respond to events. Or if you know you're going to be, um, you know, you have to accept all your invites and stuff like that, you could um, use this to do that. Or if, if invites come from a certain person that you know you need to accept, you can do that or decline and, and all those cool things. So you could use Power Automate to do all those things is what I'm thinking. But again, what are you guys thinking? What do you want to use this for? Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.